you don't have a strong online presence. Scouts, even before the pandemic, have a tough time getting out to see every single player possible. So having video available online somewhere, even YouTube, is huge for yourself. What's going on guys? This is Brain from Advancement Hockey Advising here and today we have yet another special interview here with elite prospects themselves. Yes, you heard it right. So basically we got Ed Palumbo here who's a representative at Elite Prospects and throughout the interview what we're going to be doing here is he's just going to be diving into some features, some new announcements that Elite Prospects has, some key ways that players can kind of utilize Elite Prospects. I know we made a video several months ago about how to use Elite Prospects effectively. If you want to check it out you can click up right here but basically Ed's going to dive into all these kinds of new features in that that I may have missed in that video or just re-emphasize some stuff that I said in that video as well. So hopefully you guys like this kind of video. I hope you guys get some sort of value out of this video. And if you do, feel free to drop a comment down below to let us know. Also, if you like this style of video here, absolutely destroy that like button. It really goes a long way. And if you're new here and if you want to keep seeing these kind of videos, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward. All right, guys, with all that out of the way, let's dive right into the interview here with Ed Palumbo. All right, Ed, glad to have you on board here. How are you today? Not bad. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to happy to be on and happy to uh, to talk a little bit about uh, elite prospects. Awesome. Well, we're glad to have you here. So why don't we just start with that? Why don't you talk to us a little bit about Elite Prospects, yourself, and how you joined the company? Well, Elite Prospects, I think most of your listeners probably know uh, by now that we're um, the largest online database of leagues, teams, and players worldwide. Um, we, uh, we have stats, we have, you know, every, every possible league team or player you could possibly search for. And it's one of those, those fun things. I've only been with the company for five, for six months, um, you know, since November, 2019 or 20, sorry, November, 2021. Yeah. It's one of those things where, where you, you walk into an environment and you, you learn right away, just how big the company is without even knowing beforehand. But, um, you know, any, any player that you google any hockey player at a certain level if you google a player our our website should be one of the first few results you know just finding that player's history of of where he or she played and there and there's very basic stats goals assists points plus minus penalty minutes uh time on ice in certain leagues that we have um but my myself i know that was the other part of your question um you know, my name's Ed Palumbo. I, uh, not many people probably know who I am and I sort of like it that way. Um, I, I, I'm the team sales and director of hockey for elite prospects. And anyone listening to this is probably wondering to themselves, well, who the hell's Ed Palumbo? Um, why does he deserve to be the hockey director or director of hockey for the biggest online website? I don't know. I don't know the answer. Um, <laughs> I, uh, they liked me. They, um, they knew who I was from some of my previous jobs, um, and uh, they knew that I was a very good salesperson um, when it comes to to hockey and technology sales. So they they wanted to do a few things related to to sales and and team sales, especially which they've never really done before. Uh, so they offered me the position, and we've got quite a few things coming down the line that are that are pretty exciting. But um, you know, m myself uh, for a little background on me, I don't have an elite prospects profile. Uh, I am 34 years old and, uh, I think the, well, the highest level I played was double a, and that was probably back in 2005, but, uh, yeah, so they, they just liked how personable I was. And, and I guess that's why I got the job. So awesome. So pretty cool trajectory <laughs> there. So before we dive into elite prospects, I want to like pinpoint inside a little bit, because a lot of sure. players aren't as familiar with Instat as they are with elite prospects and parents, neither. Um, can you, you know, talk to us a little bit about more what that is, what people use it for and, and where it's going now in the future? Yeah, Instat was uh, or is a video analysis and data company similar to a, a lot of your listeners probably are familiar with, uh, if not Instat, um, they're probably familiar with a competitive service called uh, Huddle or maybe Iceberg Analytics. It's it's one of those um, services where you send in video, they have a team somewhere and you know, overseas that that takes the video usually overnight or within a day or two and, and cuts it up into different player shifts, goals, assists, points, uh, all their different highlights. Um, so, you know, when I was at Instat, it, we 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 knew the North American market very well and we knew that scouts at every level wanted to to view those shifts um, of players at every level. So, you know, we, we ended up selling 
the majority of the North American market. Um, not not at the youth level. Uh, youth was pretty tough, but we we did make some good ground there, especially in Canada. The U.S. youth the huddle was really the the big competitor. So you know, a lot of your listeners probably are more familiar with huddle. But yeah, it was yeah, and I, I ended up selling you know the majority of the NHL team. So that I think almost every NHL team, with the exception of maybe three or four, by the time I left, uh, were using Instat to view players, uh, even in Europe. Uh, we, I think we had more European video and, and data on players than anyone else. So, um, yeah, it was a, it was a big company. Uh, well, big, big job for, for a smaller company, um, based over in, in, uh, Russia and Ireland and, um, you know, a lot of people there cutting up videos. So not just hockey, soccer, basketball, all sorts of sports. So I left that position in November to join elite prospects, but yeah, no, it's, it's a, it's a tool more and more that's becoming increasingly popular. Uh, I mm-hmm. see it more and more like coaches always say, Hey, I'm going to check out this player on Instat, all that kind of stuff. A lot of players ask me, do they actually check? They, they check if they're interested in the player. Yeah. Just so, just so players want to know, they won't check every single player that comes across their list. It's really guys that they looked at elite prospects first, typically. Yeah. Look at that. It checks it out. You know, if they've seen a highlight video, if they're interested, at that point, they'll probably dive e- deeper and check the instat. But that's what, you know, coaches kind of use it for. So from an advisor's yeah. perspective, that's that's what it's kind of there for. And I think uh, the, the big thing was, I think the pandemic, um, unfortunately, helped the cause there because it made people realize that if you don't have a strong online presence, um, you know, scouts, but even before the pandemic, have a tough time getting out to see every single player possible. Absolutely. So having video available online somewhere, even YouTube, is is huge for yourself, whether it's a highlight package or, or a compilation of all your shifts. Awesome. Um, or if you're a goaltender, all your saves, every shot you faced. Uh, that's that's one thing that those companies like Instat, like Huddle, that they do very well, um, is they're they're able to track the player by player um, to create, you know, uh, allow you to sort of create your own highlight packages that are sort of pre-made for you already. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I think that the future of, of video and, and scouting is going to change. You know, it, it costs a lot of money to, well, these days it costs a lot of money to drive. Uh, gasoline prices aren't getting any cheaper <laughs> and flights, flights are the same way. It's, it's costly to send scouts out halfway around the country or, or, you know, across, you know, the Canadian U S borders, to, to see some players. So if they have the opportunity to watch a player first on video um, to decide if it's worth, you know, going to see them in person as a former scout uh, video is great, but you can only get so many angles and the eye test in person is still the best way to scout a player. You got to see everything that, that a camera won't show you. You have to see the players reactions after, uh, you know, after making a pass, they, you have to see their work ethic off the puck and away from the puck off the screen, off camera, everything. You got to see how they interact on the bench with their teammates. Those are things you won't always see on, on camera. So, um, but yeah, that's that's my little two cents about scouting and, and how to present yourself to a scout. That's for sure. <laughs> it's, it's a super important point, because like you said, scouts and teams only have so many resources. They can only go mm-hmm. to so many games. It costs money to go to the games. So first of all, obviously, you want your stats to be good. If your stats are good, typically scouts will dive deeper. They'll watch like a highlight video or something. If they like that, then they'll go and, and watch um you know, video on Instat or huddle really, and watch a, a full game maybe on hockey TV or something. And then yep. they'll really be able to, to get an idea as to what kind of a player you are. A lot of teams will commit off a of video, but some teams want to take that next step. If it's a really important player, if they, it's a really important decision for the team, then they'll take that next step, go watch a player one game or two games in person or so. And, uh, and from there they'll make a decision, but it's kind of like that step process, elite prospect yeah. video, and then in person sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes if you're, if you're good enough and, and, and lucky enough, really um, a scout could be at your game watching someone else, or they just know you're, you know, they're familiar with your team and they might see you, you know, have a good game. It could be your, your best game. It could be an average game for you, but if they see something that they like, they will go back and look for you on elite prospects or on video to figure out more about you. So it could work either way. Um, So that's why it's always important to, to put your best foot forward and, and, give it a your all every time you're out there on the ice because you never know who's watching or and you know live or or at home and in and the comfort of their home on video so For sure. yeah. and i want to go back to a point you said too um having good video is more and more important every year we go by like moving forward it's so 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 important to have good video so if you can get some off hockey tv if you can get a service like huddle or instat or anything like that 
it's huge. It really helps um, separate you. It really helps scouts be able to see what kind of player you are. So it's, yeah. it's super important for people that are in the minor hockey level where there isn't always video. If, if you have good parents that are willing to do it, you know, or if you have a friend or something, have a friend, you know, take videos of you. It's really important. And honestly, from what I've seen, especially at the minor hockey level, because there's so little video, if you're someone who has a video, who has a highlight video put together, it really goes a long way because it, it kind of separates you from everyone else. So it's, uh, it's very important to have it. Yeah. And, and there's the, the last thing I'll say about highlight videos or, or the availability of video. Um, don't, don't always just, if, if you're trying to put together a 10 minute highlight package, don't always just show your own, your, your own pros. You know, if, if there's things you think you could work on, if you have the availability to show an entire shift of yours, it may be your best shift or it may not. But if you, if you have the ability to show the full package of what you are at both, both the pros in your game and the cons, uh, scouts want to know that too, because a lot of scouts will actually pass over highlight videos sometimes because they just think that every single parent is just putting together um, a, a, a collection of their kids best moments when, you know, uh, in reality, that's probably not who you are as, as a player. Yep. Um, so, yeah. And uh, as far as taking video in, in the stands and, and, and stuff like that, it's, you know, iPads, iPhones, they all have great cameras these days. If you, if you have the ability to get something better than, than, you know, maybe an arena camera or, or something like that, that's just streamed on, on low quality, um, you know, do it. Uh, there's tons of services out there. There's, there's, I, I can't, I don't think I should plug any specific companies, but if you were to search for companies that just, uh, allow you to take the video and, and create it like a highlight package out of it, um, you know, there's, uh, there's tons of them out there. So if you can get, if you can get an iPad set up on a tripod and in a game and follow the puck along or follow, you know, every time you're out there on a shift, as long as it's, uh, showing the entire ice, um, you know, scouts don't always want to look directly at you. They want to look at the, the, the entire play. They want to see, uh, where you are in comparison to other players, because that, that makes a difference too. They don't want to just see, you know, a close up of you skating around the whole time. And also the camera's a lot shakier. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, a few, few tips there. So, yeah, uh, good, great points. So moving on a bit more into elite prospects here, the bread and butter of the conversation. So the, the first question I have for you is how can players, you know, go about using elite prospects? What, what's like some advanced tips that, that you might have that, that players can go and use elite prospects for? Well, the one thing that I was really hired to, to sell right now is our elite prospects verified accounts and premium accounts. So some of you may know what an elite prospects premium account is because there's probably a bunch of ads and emails that you're getting. Uh, you know, especially every few months we're we're definitely doing like a 50% off offer that you're probably getting spammed about, uh, which is pretty funny to us as a company. But, um, you know, a, a verified account is a subset of premium where a player can actually take control of their profile. So that doesn't mean you can change your stats. No one's going to be able to change your stats except us. And you have to provide a ton of proof, um, not a ton, but as long as there's some sort of online proof, um, we can make some changes for you, but you can make stat requests. You can add a name pronunciation. It sort of becomes a LinkedIn profile for, for you as a player or even a hockey resume. So we want to focus more on the players themselves um, and the teams uh, we do offer this the you know better packages and better discounts to teams as well. But an e an EP verified profile for a player will allow you to do quite a f it gives you a ton of features. Uh, suggested changes for your height and weight if you can prove it. Um, you can add a name pronunciation as I as I uh, mentioned. You can add your social media accounts, which might be a way for scouts or somebody else, uh, even somebody trying to get an interview with you um, to just uh, reach out. Uh, we do hide your contact information, but there is a contact email button on there that allows you to contact or allows somebody to, to contact you directly through Elite Prospects. Um, you can add fitness testing results, coaches' recommendations, highlight videos and, and pictures, images. Uh, you can change your own profile image as well. Um, you can add education info. You can upload your, you know, different files, like your school transcripts. You can put your GPA in there. There's a ton of things with an elite prospects verified account that will allow you to showcase yourself and have that, that online presence that, uh, you sort of need these days to, uh, to promote yourself as a player. Um, 
I'm trying to think of some other things. Injury history, some players probably don't want to put that on, uh, but it does help uh, to know, uh, you know, if I'm a scout and I look and I see there's a couple of minor injuries here and there, that's fine. Um, a skill set where you can have other elite prospects, premium or verified users, including teammates or coaches. Um, they can, they can actually verify your skill set by giving you like a thumbs up. Um, there's a lot of different features that, that are there now. And there are more features coming down the line, uh, that I probably can't mention too much, but, um, you know, there, there's going to be some more integrations with other companies, uh, that we're working on, uh, where you'd be able, able to, uh, really showcase, everything that you may have online uh, yeah. from different websites on your elite prospects profile page. And that's something that I am work and my, myself and, and a couple of my coworkers are working very hard on uh, to make sure that uh, yeah, the integration of different uh, accounts that you may have online uh, becomes, you know, something that you can be easily accessed from just your elite prospects profile. So there's, there's a lot of things we're working on, but EP verified great way. It, it comes with every single feature of EP premium as well. So you get the EP rinkside articles uh, where they cover a lot of the NHL drafts. So those are fun to, uh, to read through. Um, you get uh, all the features of, of premium, such as no ad, well, less ads on the site, um, easier search filters. If you're interested in doing your own research on, on, you know, hockey players and teams, uh, we have a few more advanced features for, uh, for the search, uh, which makes it helpful for coaches and, and, and scouts and, and, you know, triple a or double a team directors too you know if they're if they're in a recruiting phase they can also use those features uh with ep premium as well yeah it sounds like it's like you said it's becoming like this player profile in a way yeah and i think in the past my opinion was like people would ask me is it worth it to get you know ep verified ep premium in the past i'd say no typically like unless you need to change your stats or something like that if if they won't do it for you as you contact them you know probably best to get it, you know, to change your stats. Mm -hmm. But now more and more, I'm starting to change my opinion and to change my tune thinking like the more you can get like a nice player profile with highlight video, you know, editing your stats whenever you need to, like you can't do it yourself, but you can contact elite prospects, edit your stats, your profile picture. Uh, you can put your grades on there. Like all, all the important stuff that, that scouts typically, it takes like, you know, countless emails with advisors and parents and stuff to, to go back and forth. If you could have it all, you know, in one, um, in one platform, in one view, it's going to be so much, uh, it's going to be so much better for, uh, for the scouts and, and for the players and everyone in general, it's going to be a lot easier. So more and more, I'm starting to think like, yes, th this is worth it. And, you know, it's not that expensive either. So if, if, if it's something that interests you guys, I think it's, it's something more and more now as we're, we're progressing with it. And as you guys integrate more and more with companies, I do think it's going to be worth it in the future. Yeah, the, the integrations I'm I'm definitely excited about. There's a few companies out there that that seem like natural fits, and some of them have actually just reached out to us and said, "Hey, we want to work with Elite Prospects." Whether it's putting ads up on our site or or doing further integration where we actually give them a a, a, a credit with their logo or saying the stats provided by this company or you know fitness testing results provided by this company, we're working on quite a few integrations that hopefully. Um, at some point we'll all be automatic, but at least to begin, to begin with, it, it gives us something to, to add to the profile. So, um, I mean, a fitness testing company, giving, giving a kid after a tournament, um, you know, a four or five page PDF of their fitness testing results, they can up, the kid can upload those right to their EP verified profile. Um, huge, so yeah. that, that'd be huge. Um, you know, uh, preferred equipment. Uh, that's not an integration we're working on, but it's something I just, I forgot that was on there already. Um, so if you have equipment preferences, you can put those in there. I don't think that matters to anybody, but it's fun. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. And, and the other, the other thing I want to mention by the time this, um, you know, by the time this, uh, gets posted, uh, this, this interview gets posted, um, we should have a team management system where you actually can, if your team is interested and not just you as a player, because you as a player, if you wanted to sign up for EP verify or EP premium and then verify yourself right now, um, it's a hundred dollars for a year, which is a great bargain considering how expensive hockey is in, in general, but we can uh, give you one, a better rate and two, probably a better experience by help, by allowing your team or your organization um, to have an, a, an assigned admin or two, 
um, actually edit that stuff at that stuff for you. So at the beginning of the year, if your team does fitness testing, they can actually put all the, all the results or will be able to hopefully by the time this, this, uh, gets posted, they'll be able to put all the fitness testing results in for the players. They can actually change the heights and weights. Once you guys are done with your, your measurements at the beginning of the year, um, so there'll be some, some administrative stuff where, where a team can actually handle all that stuff for you and manage your player subscriptions. So that's a dashboard that we're coming out with very soon where, where if we sign up teams, not only we can get you a better rate, we can allow uh, your team, uh, your coach, whether it's your coaches or in a, some sort of assigned admin to take over some of that stuff for you. And then you can obviously still go in and, uh, you know, add your own video highlights, add your own, um, you know, transcripts, that kind of stuff. So there's, uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of benefits coming down the line. And I, I definitely, you know, Braden, I understand the, the, uh, the hesitancy when we first probably announced premium or verified for players, is it worth it? Um, yeah, it may, it may have been before it may not have been, uh, there were def- but we're definitely trying to trying to push the envelope for, for it to be something more valuable, um, now and in, in the future. So for sure, for sure. And as it yeah. keeps growing, it'll be more and more valuable and, and more and more players will sign up. I think that's, that's the way it's progressing. So, yeah. so I know you have a few more announcements with, uh, with the lead prospects here, a couple of big things that, that are probably going to be going on. Do you want to talk about those a little bit? Yep. So uh, April, 2022, uh, which will probably be passed <laughs> by the time this comes out. Sorry, but uh, we had the elite prospects invitational, which was a, a pre-draft camp um, in Colorado Springs at the Ed Robson arena, um, the new home of Colorado college. Uh, that's going to, we're, we're hoping that's going to become an annual event where we take some of the best triple uh, uh, a players um 2006 born this year, 2007 born next year. Um, so basically uh, major junior eligible draft uh, picks. We're going to take the best U.S. born players of that age group, put them in a two team um, setup. So, you know, team elite prospects versus team Barbero uh, for this year, Barbero being the equipment sponsor um, that wanted to, to, well, sponsor us with the jerseys and everything. Um, so I'll, I'll let you know how the event goes, but uh it's uh you know it's something we want to be a, a normal a normal event. So whether you're a, a, you want to play in the USHL, the BCHL, maybe maybe get drafted to the OHL or the WHL, they there will be scouts watching, and uh, um you know it'll it it should be a fun event. So only forty to forty two players can can register for it. Uh, but that's one event that we're going to make an annual thing. The other thing that's coming up is the Elite Prospects Cup Series. When it was originally announced, well, we called it the Elite Prospects Hockey League, uh, but it was a four-weekend series, uh, three regular season weekends and a playoff weekend. We decided to rebrand it uh, back in, I believe, March, um, you know, as the Elite Prospects Cup Series. Uh, so a, a three regular season plus one playoff weekend um, event, the first weekend for for this year will be uh uh what is it philadelphia in october and then we have pittsburgh uh excuse me philadelphia in september pittsburgh in october uh early december will be boston massachusetts and uh our playoff weekend uh great time of year in in late january to escape the cold and go down to tampa florida so that may not be the case every year i think uh, the playoff weekend will probably be in florida every year because that's where elite prospects uh north american headquarters is uh but the, the idea behind this cup series is we wanted to bring together 14 U AAA, 15 O AAA, 16 U AAA, and 18 U AAA teams uh, together in a, you know, uh, a short season series um, to just give them a, 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 an opportunity for exposure. Um, you know, this year we have eight teams, uh, eight core teams, but each level will have a few guest teams as well uh, committed to all four weekends. And the core teams being, you know, your Philadelphia Junior Flyers, Team Maryland, uh, let's see, Syracuse Nationals, um, Boston Hockey Academy, Boston Junior Terriers, Esmark Stars, and I know I'm missing one, but yeah, we, we wanted to pull together some teams. Um, this is this is going to be season one, what we're calling season one, so sort of a Netflix style uh, presentation to it. Uh, it's the 2022-23 season, but next season we'll we'll call season two, and we want to expand it. We want it to be more than just eight founding members or eight core teams. Uh, we want it to be more than just the East Coast, uh, but it's a fun event. The big thing about the EP Cup series is that it's uh, you know we're we're going to make it more unique than your typical weekend tournament. We are going to bring vendors. We're going to have all the games live streamed um, through a service provider that has not been decided yet, but we're we're fielding some offers right now. There's there's going to be quite a few 
uh, fun things for, for the players that uh, will make it a different experience, something they've never, well, hopefully never uh, have, have had before because we want it to be so unique that by the time that first weekend of the, of the regular season is, uh, is done, they're, they're really hoping to come back for that second weekend and, and they want to come back in, in the following year. So, um, so yeah, we have some good organizations involved. Um, Super Series AAA is helping us out uh, as the tournament organizer uh, for this year, you know, helping us with the hotels and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're the brand behind it. We're, we're going to give all the players participating in it, EP verified and EP premium accounts. Um, so that, you know, they can, they can make the most of their profiles. We'll have, um, you know, some fitness testing, recovery rooms, different giveaways for the players, you know, tip, your typical MVP awards and player of the week kind of things. And we'll use our elite prospects, uh, you know, our brand to really promote, uh, this event and the, and the participating teams and players. So, um, they're going to feel like professional athletes every weekend they come to, uh, to our events. So that's huge. Cool. Cool. Some, some exciting stuff there. Excited to see how it all unfolds in the next uh, few years here. So I think that's a good spot to, to wrap it up at. I think, uh, you know, we touched on, you know, some important, you know, features of elite prospects some new things coming out, uh, some new announcements that you guys have. And also we touched on, you know, scouting, you know, video, Instat, all that kind of stuff. So I think uh, there's a lot of valuable uh, things that, you know, our viewers can kind of take from this interview. So Ed, thanks so much for your time for coming on. It was a pleasure having you. All right. Thank you for having me, Braden. All right, guys, that is it for the video. Hopefully you guys got some value out of this here because, you know, I wasn't sure, honestly, what to expect with this kind of interview. But I think, you know, we got some some cool key features here that and, and key announcements that may serve uh, to help you guys. So let us know if you did, uh, you know, find anything useful. If you got any value out of this video, drop a comment down below if you did. Also, too, if you're confused about anything, if you have any questions, anything you want to talk to us about, consider dropping a comment down below. Or if you want to message us privately, you can send us an email at info at ahadvising.com and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Also too, if you got any kind of value out of this video whatsoever, consider hitting that like button. It really goes a long way. And if you're new here and if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward. All right guys, that is it for the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on that next one.